welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a palette tag. Uh, this was started by Kaylee Bott, I believe is how you say her name. I'll link her channel down below. She's the queen of palettes, you guys. She gets so many palettes and she does awesome reviews on them. I love her channel. She's super cute. So, and a mama of two babies. So, you know, lots in common there, basically BFFs. But anyways, so I just thought it'd be fun to kind of do a palette take. I don't know if I've really done a palette take before. Slash, I know I haven't. So, that is what we're doing today. And the very first palette to talk about is your first palette. This is my first palette, as I am sure this series is one of, or is many people's first palette into the high-end world. The Naked 2 palette. This was my very first high-end palette. I had like quads and stuff before this, but yeah, this was my first palette ever. Um, I still have never even hit pan on this. I thought I would have hit pan on tees a long, long time ago, but it's holding up strong, guys. So anyways, this is my first palette. I don't necessarily still love it, but it is sentimental, and also I do still enjoy aspects of it, and every once in a while when I whip it out, I'll have a fun little look for it. So that was my very first palette. Let me see. My most recent purchase. This one, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This was my most recent, and it's used and abused, and I love it. I love it, I love it. This was awesome, awesome. Even though I know it's more expensive than your average Morphe palette, to me it was well worth it. So, this one for sure. Uh, one I regret missing out on. A palette I missed, I regret missing out on. I feel like one of the Lorac Pro ones would have been nice to get, like the one or two. Um, but honestly, I don't really find a whole lot that I'm sad I miss out on. I'm trying to think, maybe Makeup Geek, but they don't. I think maybe the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette by Makeup Geek, which I know I could, I think I can still get that even, but I don't know. I didn't care enough to get it, but I am also kind of bummed that I didn't get it. Um, one that makes you happy to look at. Folks, this one. It is so gorgeous. Worth every single dollar. It's beautiful. I love looking at this and seeing the colors. Um, another one that I really, really like, just because it's kind of fun, is my Historic Books Cosmetic. To be honest, I love the packaging and stuff. Um, to be honest, like... The actual shadows don't inspire me much, and it makes me so bummed. I really want to start playing with this more and see if I can get more inspired by it. But I haven't yet. Maybe I need to do a palette bingo with this one. I think that's what I need to do. Anyway, so those are the two palettes I love to look at. Um, even though I'm supposed to only pick one. One that I've changed my mind about. Stila in the Light. I believe this was my second palette ever. And I really, really liked it at first, but now I only really like three, maybe four shades of this. I've just found it's not very pigmented compared to other ones. Um, you really, it's just, meh. Nah. So, beautiful, some beautiful shades. I mean, obviously it's got Kitten, and I have Massive Pan and Kitten. Um, and I do like Bliss as a blending shade, actually, quite a bit. But, yeah, all in all, I don't like this palette anymore. And I really liked it when I first got it. One that surprised me. Hmm. Not in a good way. Not in a good way. I only like this okay. It's just not a great, like... aesthetic, I guess. It doesn't flow, and so I only like this one okay. It's got beautiful shades, and I do enjoy using, like, a shade here or there when I'm creating a look, but yeah. Otherwise, it's the Anastasia self-made palette. I was like, meh. So, 
I do enjoy it though. Uh, somewhat. <laughs> One that inspires me the most. I love, love, love this. This one or my Jaclyn Hill palette. Those two, I just look at them and I'm like, 10 million looks come to mind. So I love both of these very, very much. And I'm not including my Makeup Geek shades in these or my like Z palettes because I figure that's kind of cheap. I mean, let's see. Obviously, it's, I'm doing the tag. I can do what I want. Um, this palette for the bright green there. This palette really does inspire me to me. This is like my go-to fall palette was last year and I'm planning on using it a ton again this year. Um, but yeah, uh, that and then the other two are like the ones that inspire me the most. I love, love, love them and they're all great quality, which I, it pains me to say that about a Morphe palette, guys. Uh, one on my wish list, the new Lila palette, Lila palette by Natasha Denona. <laughs> so expensive but I really want it guys I really really do I know it's so pricey it's so so pricey and I shouldn't but I really want it so tempting um one on my or my no fail palette this one for sure this one is all my custom shades that I love from makeup geek and I love to use in the fall um and I love that I can switch it out but for pre-made palette I'd say this one. I mean, I can just get a super easy smoky look, no problem. Um, simple day look, no problem. You know, add glitter to it. Um, and I love the way these blend. So that's my palette tag, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know some of your favorite palettes. Or if you want to do a palette tag, please let me know down below if you did one. And I will see you in my next video.